Hello everybody, this is Leticia, your witchy dancer from Dancing Crowns and I am here at Dancing Crown Studios and I am uh, going to drink some coffee with you because we are doing our weekly Tarot and Cafe. Salud! Mmm! Delicious! And I'm charging today my coffee with the crystal of the day which is pineapple aura quartz. We will be talking about that crystal in a little bit, but we are very excited to um, tell you some great news. If you have not seen the last few chapters of Tarot and Cafe, I am going to tell you right now that there are some big, 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 huge news that you need to know about Secrets of Paradise Tarot. The first one is that uh, besides the changes on the cover of the box and some of the cards that are going to be way more beautiful than the prototype that you watch here in Tarot and Cafe, um, we are already in the status of pre-ordering the Tarot deck and I am very excited to tell you that if you pre-order your deck and if you are going to put the receipt number or the receipt code in the page that I am under construction right now with uh, my uh, web page designer, we are uh, going to give you a beautiful, um, new and colorful tarot spread. We are going to give you a dance lesson to dance with the tarot cards, yes, and to understand the one, two, three, five, six, seven tarot spread. And we are going to invite you to the VIP Zoom unboxing party in January when the tarot gets actually published. Finally, finally, finally. We are around the corner from that. So stay tuned for more. But there are three wonderful gifts that you are going to receive if you go to Amazon right now or to Barnes & Noble. All three books and you purchase Secrets of Paradise Tarot. And next week, when it's ready, if you go to my website and you enroll in the newsletter, I will be sending you the email with the link that you can put your receipt number in our webpage and you can actually receive the three gifts immediately. You don't need to wait until January to receive your free gifts. One of them is, again, the printable tarot spread in colors that is the same spread that is going to be in the guidebook so you are going to see that ahead of time and you are not going to have it only in black and white in the little guidebook that comes with the tarot uh, but you will have it with the colors you know made by our illustrator Laura Bejo so do not wait any longer and visit Amazon Thrift Books or Barnes & Noble get your tarot as pre-order and then you know with that uh, e uh, save that email for you to get the receipt or a uh, receipt code or receipt number in the web page and send it to me so you can get automatically your three amazing free gifts for pre-ordering Secrets of Paradise Tarot. So thank you again for your support all the way through this project. It has been more than two years that we have been working since I started uh, creating every single of the 81 cards that comes with the deck and I will tell you that it has been an amazing opportunity for me it has been an amazing journey um, sometimes I get a little bit emotional because it is very exciting to know that the finally everything that has been you know going through with a huge effort it's coming to, to a fruit, you know, it's coming to, um, for real, like, a real, reality, I'm sorry, oh, my English is bad today, sorry guys, <laughs> I need more coffee, right, all right, so let me drink a little bit more of coffee with you, and tell me how you like the coffee, how you like your tea, and do you drink coffee or tea before reading tarot, if you read tarot, tell me about it in the comments right there, share something with me, you guys, barely share stuff with me when I am doing the videos. You guys are always, um, you know, commenting beautiful things and and I appreciate your, your compliments, but I want to know 
how do you drink your coffee how do you drink your tea do you read tarot you don't read tarot and if you do read tarot do you drink coffee or tea before you read tarot so tell me about it and share time with me even when this video goes in youtube i want you to comment in there too salud so thank you again for all my supporters and i am going to start as always with the cards of the week then we're going to proceed talking about the crystal of the day i also have an oil of the no crystal of the day the crystal of the week and also i have an oil of the week this this particular week it's amazing oil and i love it and it has been working beautifully for me so i want to share that with you guys too um so everything that 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 you see in my videos I have tried it before. I don't go and tell you this is this or this is that, and then I cannot live, uh, you know, for real. You know, I cannot give a testimonial for real from it. I do give you testimonial because I have tried it and I have proved it. And some of the things that I tell you, I have been doing it for over two years or three years now. All right, so you can trust me. Now. The first card that we are going to turn around is the card of the family energy for this week from the 26th, June 26th, all the way to July 1st. So what is that card? Let's turn it around. But before you see it, let me know if you resonate with this card for the family energy this week. What do you feel? Do you resonate with it? So when we turn it around is the temperance card. Ooh, the temperance card. In what is going on now in your family is that after the conversation that happened last week between those two parties for healing energies, for removing that toxic energy, um, now you have something really cool um, going on and is more peace in, in within the family. And I also can see that um, one of the people involved in the parties are testing the water is 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 that person testing the water and it's normal it's normal because after you actually let go of so much um and you are kind of afraid of going and trust again it, it's okay to test the water and do not submit yourself you know deep 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 in the ocean right um so trust is something that you gain with time and it's okay to go little by little that's fine i think it's a great step actually because it is towards the peace moments of of the family and i do see also abundance uh it's a great moment for families to um to enjoy more abundance this week there is going to be an economical break um if you have been actually doing what you need to do uh, with your finances you are going to definitely have an economical break this week and you're gonna have that uh, abundance enough to have that little extra treat this week it's not gonna be a whole lot but maybe you can get this ice cream that you wanted or maybe you can get this sweet that you wanted or you know something it's like a small treat that you are going to get I don't see like a bunch of money coming this week, but I do see abundance. I do see that you are not going to scars of resources and that you're going to have that extra little thing that is going to make your whole week. Okay, so that's what I see for family energy. Um, let's go into the love and relationships, the romantic love specifically. And I do have the four of wands. This is the old version of the four of wands. There is a new version of the four of wands, but I'm not going to show it to you yet. Um, wait until you get your deck in your hands and you're gonna love the new version of it it's even more beautiful and better so four of ones for the love and relationships um, we are talking about um, a big uh, festivity between the two of you um, you are going to celebrate your love bigger um, not necessarily a wedding but there is something big going on that you are going to celebrate together as a couple and I do see that it might be a gathering with friends, but for some reason, the celebration is towards you. Um, maybe you are the host of the party. You guys are hosting a party and inviting friends, um, and that's not going to take away anything uh, from you guys. It's not going to take away, um, you know, any, um, 
anytime together or it's not going to get a bad energy for inviting others you know it's not gonna get anything toxic in there you know you're going to actually celebrate everything and you are going to actually uh, be very happy by having friends around you both that energy is needed because I think you have been way too much at home like together and sometimes you guys need some company in order to put that energy even higher and these are people that are going to celebrate your love they're not going to damage your love or relationships so go ahead don't be afraid invite some friends for the grill invite some friends for the movie night um, you know enjoy outdoors maybe go hiking as a group uh, but this is going to be very healthy for the relationship this week so get romantic relationships socializing in a positive way this week that's what I see let me put my glasses on and see what are the comments in there hi um, I'm not reading cards for you guys I am doing my Taroan cafe this week so um, so if you want to have a reading you want to go to dancingcrownstudio.com and you can book a reading there um, so now I'm going to proceed in Taroan cafe weekly with the last card that I do for the week which is the energy for business or career so we have the four of swords we have the Four of Swords, and I think we had the Four of Swords last week, if I don't mistake. But if we didn't, this is a moment for a break. Uh, this is a moment for resting a little bit and do not be a workaholic at this time. So if you have never um, been able to take a break in the last few months now this is summertime go ahead and take advantage of the sun light and the hot weather and get outdoors uh, because it seems that you're exhausted and it is a moment for for a quick break uh, and like a short vacation you don't have to go out of the country or to another state you don't have to uh, go far but yeah, go outdoors and you need that sunlight origin. Like this week is, there has to be a day that you take a break outdoors. All right, so that is for career or business. Maybe you have just um, been studying too much for a test up in college or maybe um, your career has been exhausting the last few months. So now is the time for taking a break. And that's for career or business again. Um, and I think that was the same card of last week, but with a different meaning because it all depends on the energy. Um, the cards can have different meanings too. So, um, regarding events, we are going to be hosting an event along with the Bodiken restaurant in Mount Morris in New York State, near Letchworth. And we are going to have a drum and dance. If you want to participate and experiment, how you want you how to dance in front of the drums you're more than welcome to because we always have a space for interacting with the audience if you only are watching the show that's fine with us too we do not um, command anybody to do anything or we do not uh, get upset with you if you don't want to dance that's fine it's going to be your choice but the most important thing is that you experiment the culinary flavors of the body can restaurant located in Mount Morris in uh, near Letchworth, New York, and um, near the Le Letchworth uh, State Park in Mount Morris, New York. And you want to uh, also make sure that you look at the map because the Letchworth main entrance is closed. The one, not the one in Perry, but the one in the other side. So you either want to go through Perry or you want to take the exit before Letchworth. I think it is for Geneseo. And then it's gonna take you a little bit longer to get to the body can restaurant, but it's worth it, totally worth it. You want to have that culinary taste in the restaurant for enjoying not only the food, but also the music. And guess what? There is going to be a DJ with Latin music after the drum and dance. This is going to take place on July 17 at 3 p.m. And if you wanna dance some salsa, merengue, cha-cha, and everything that you like, um, you can go there because they have a space 
for you know dancing and so you can enjoy uh, free music from 3 p.m. all the way to 9.30 p.m. as well as great plates, great desserts, main courses, drinks, juices, everything that you like, they have it there at the Body Can Restaurant. So, without more hesitation, I'm going to talk about the crystal of the week, which is the pineapple or quartz I'm charging my coffee with, okay? So, let me take a little bit of sleep over here. Mm. Divino, divino. So, the pineapple ora quartz, these beautiful things over here, are um, heated with a special metal. It's a uh, quartz, and they heat it with a metal, and it comes like this. And it has some rainbow sheens in it. It's beautiful. So, um, I would say this is a perfect crystal to work with the sun, because we are now in the summertime. And we are also uh, working with the solar plexus chakra. Um, it's a great uh, crystal to work with creativity and also to work for um, creating for your business. So it is a great uh, uh, crystal for uh, attracting prosperity to your life through your business or what you do. Another great thing that this crystal has is that it can connect with Oshun's energy. And we offer here in Dancing Crowns not only the crystals, but we also have beautiful, look at the flowers and the spices inside the oil. We have the oil to work with Oshun. She is an Orisha. Um, we tend to call, it, call her goddess in English because we are used to call everyone god or goddess, but it's not correct. She is an Orisha from the Santeria and the Candomble from Brazil. And some of the um, neo-African religions of the Caribbean um, right, uh, work with Oshun a lot. And there is lately like an Oshun movement that I see in the metaphysical world. And Oshun is an amazing Orisha. She's very flirty and she loves um, the sun and the river water and actually she also work a lot with the Spanish fan, like she's the Orisha that always has a Spanish fan with her. So um, read about Oshun and also get uh, the oil so you can apply it. You can apply it to yourself, but it's more a ritual oil to dress your candles with it. And then um, you can uh, have a couple of these crystals to put around the candle to form form a crystal grid and then you can have one that is a smaller size for carrying in your purse and connecting with that crystal grid and the essence oil for the candle and make your magic work so that is the crystal and the oil for the week from Taruan Cafe this week now um, I wanted to also give you the magic word in Spanish of the week and that is I will say piña. Piña is pineapple in Spanish. And because we are working with the pineapple oda quartz, we can incorporate the word piña is P as in Paul, I as in icicle, ñ, which is the end with the little thing on the top, and then A, piña. So what do you want to, uh, why would you work with the word piña in a magical ritual or in your altar or with a paragraph that you can say in a poem, why would you like to work with that word? First of all, pineapples are can be sweet or sour, depending on the situation. They also have like a strong skin outside, but they also have a shape like, um, like if you're manifesting something on top of the fruit. So you can work with the pineapple this week as an offering for a shun. Um, and you can also have some of the parts of the pineapple to have it, you know, in your altar for manifesting prosperity and money for working with your solar plexus chakra throughout meditation and eating pineapple and feeding that chakra with great energy. Um, so you can work however you like with the word piña, which is pineapple in Spanish. That is your magical work of the word of the week. And this is it for today. This is Leticia. 
your witchy dancer from Dancing Crowns and I am going to be drinking the rest of my coffee because be, before it gets too cold and I will see you in the next video next week. Salud! Mm. Don't forget about going to Amazon and pre-order Secrets of Paradise Tarot so you can get your free gifts and if you have any questions find me in social media through Dancing Crowns, my pages, Dancing Crowns Studio or my website, dancingcrownstudio.com. See you next time. Hasta luego.